Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. We got another one, good one for y'all today. So the issue we got here is this sideboard. This is a sideboard right here. Isn't touching this dump right here. You can see the gap. So we got to spring this sideboard over. To do that, we got to take the dump out of here. He's going to raise it back up. So what the sideboard does, it's like on this pan, you see that we fixed this one, I think it was last year. It's supposed to rub. You can see how it's rubbing. The side right there, that's what it's supposed to look like. You want to have a big sweep in it. So we got to get that one to... There you go. You can see him actuating it. See, but it cuts the dirt off of the sideboard. and lets it up and down. So we got to fix all that. So stay tuned. It should be good. <laughs> good. So the first thing we got to do is get the dump out. So we got to cut these pins out. This is your hinge pin. Cut that out, drive them out to the inside, and then we'll fly it out of here. That's why we got the, the kits up. Go for it. It's important to start with a shirt that's pre-burned. Pre-burned? Yes. Gotcha. That means you won't catch on fire today. Ah, 10-4. And, yes, lots of pre-burning. Burning, yeah. Uh, and buttons missing. Missing, that's right. That's how you do it. <laughs> important message of the day. That's annoying.
can see how crooked she is right here on the tip mostly. But yeah, you never seen the inside of a pan with no dump in it. Kind of what they look like. sideboard so we can pull. We may have to put a little bit of heat on. I imagine we will. We had a lot of trouble with this back bucket right there, that John Deere, with the sideboards. We never could get that thing to straighten out. Um, but it had a much steeper kink in it. Yeah, you can see the weld from here, right there, where all the rusty is. But, uh, yeah, this should, I'm hoping this ain't going to be too bad. He caught it pretty fast. He don't want to have what happened to this one last time. Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. Got another good one for y'all today if we can get out there. If you can tell the ruts right here, that's from just a really light Nissan pickup. So of course old Ketchup's big ass has already done got stuck this morning. So yeah, my buddy out here is going to take the those there and blade me off the path so I can drive in here and pull me out I reckon. I hope we can get out there and work today. It looks like it's mighty wet. Alright, so this is what we got today. But uh yeah, this is our problem right here. Is the sideboard here, it needs to be rubbing up against the dump. So what's gonna happen is a pin broke on that side and it caused this entire frame here to twist. It's got a twist in it. But yeah, we had to replace the entire sideboard and that's what this is. That's where this weld is right here. We cut the entire section out and replaced all of it. So, yep, good deal. So this may not work. We'll find out here in a second. Jack it. Look at it. I have to go farther out. I'll take it Uh probably not. Now, right on the flat surface. Yeah. Gotcha. Sixteenth maybe. Yeah. Alright. Nah, that'll work. Shut up. An eighth. Uh -huh. Back up just a little bit. All right. There you go. Might have done something in. Quarter inch. I ain't moving much down there. I move the top a lot. Right. You want to measure it crossways? Oh, man. Mm. Outside. We still gotta come at least an inch. Go down. Way down. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's about right. Alright. Well, that's 12 and a quarter. I mean, it needs to come a quarter of an inch there. Right. Pull it again, see? You don't have to. Turn this 
tires. Check it again. I don't think we're moving it that much right there. Well, I guess we moved yeah, it. Yeah, we moved it three-eighths of an inch. That might be a problem, too. Uh oh Yep. And pry bar. Oh, so. some more get in a bind Oop. there you go hold on
Get bound up. Uh oh, and we got a hanger. Well, we got her put back in there. This side here looks pretty good. You see the ears kicked up just a little bit here. There ain't much gap though compared to everything else. So this side is good. This side's another story. So, she's got quite a bit of gap on that side, and this was the good side. So, what's happening is, is down there, this weldment on the sideboard is getting in a fight with the, the dump. So, we're going to relieve it just a little bit and get it to pull back this way. So, what you think, boss man? I think it's good. <laughs> gonna make it good. You're gonna make it go. Alright, good deal. It was a a torch. <laughs> Ain't no worky worky, huh? I had one at one point. Uh, it's probably on the back of my truck. Too late now. Let me stand right in your way. Let's stand right in your way. Yeah. So which way you want to go with it? I want to go out with it. Right. You see where I heat it about where that line is? You want about right here? Huh? Yeah. All right. Apparently I did just a hair too much. It's all right. That happens. I hate about a rosebud. Them some guns sometimes will will get hot and not act right. Watch yourself. All right. Yeah, catch the top one. There you go. See if I can watch it over here.
So y'all saw I was putting the heat on there and everything like that. That is this is known as heat shrinking. So I'm not good at this. This is this, this takes a lot of experience, which I don't have in it. But pretty much what you're trying to do is you heat on the side you want it to shrink, if that makes sense. I mean, body guys out there know about this. When you use a bead roller or something like that, you're going to shrink one part or an English wheel. So you heat this side. So you, you heat in a straight line, and then it will contract that side. So don't ever, if you want it to pull this way, then you would heat on the inside. But uh, that's kind of how it works. We had to cut this one. We didn't, you don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier if you, you heat it, you know, in, in a small section because you're only, you're limited by how much heat you can throw down on this big giant panel. So it's tricky. This is something that, like I said, I'm not great at, but you can see as it's cooling, it's starting to come away just a little bit. We may have to do it again, but like I said, it's, it's a tricky, tricky thing to get right. So yeah uh, like i said not an expert at it hard to do for me it is but uh the only way this actually really works is if your panel and everything is already straight if it's got a twist in it or a curve all it's going to do is amplify it so it's very very possible that you can't get it back out so yeah i like i said tricky thing tricky thing